Corvus Gold, uh, many of you know, is a, a Nevada project. Uh, this is a shot from our mother, new mother load discovery where we've just intersected a very deep zone of mineralization out here. It looks quite exciting. It could be some sort of uh, intrusive type system below the current deposit. So that's the exciting news going on right now with a couple rigs turning on that. <clears throat> Uh, our management group is uh, generally ex-Anglo Gold. Uh, we've, uh, myself, I was the exploration manager for North America for them. And then uh, also with uh, uh, Ron Largent, our uh, chairman, was the chief operating officer for Anglo Gold till a couple of years ago when he retired. So uh, lots of uh, good, uh, not only exploration, but actually development experience on this uh, team we have here at Corvus. <clears throat> Corvus has got about 124 uh, million shares out. Uh, Corvus is unique in the fact that we've never done uh, warrant financing in the history of the company. Uh, and we have some very important uh, large shareholders. Engel Gold Ashanti is now uh, owns 19.9% of Corvus, uh, so they're our largest shareholder. Tocqueville Group, which is now part of Sprott, uh, has uh, about 19.5%. Uh, Van Eck has got about 7% uh, in Joe Foster's managed funds, and then our management group has about 6.5%, uh, which we bought out of the market. So we're in, the, in, in this with, uh, with uh, the other shareholders. Uh, we have about $22 million in the Treasury, so we have a lot of cash right now to advance this project. And we believe that juniors are now in this cycle that we saw back in 2008, 2009, where the juniors uh, undervalued compared to gold price and to producers. And uh, what we see right now is that we believe that inflection and that valuation change is coming, and it's gonna be very important for shareholders in all different types of junior companies, uh, but particularly in the gold sector, we think. Our project is about two hours north of Las Vegas uh, on the main highway between Vegas and Reno. Uh, two main projects here, North Bullfrog, a big oxide uh, uh, epithermal vein system surrounded by a big low grade zone. And then our mother load, which is our new discovery. Uh, this project is uh, a sediment hosted system. Uh, original resource on this we put out in uh, fall of 2018 was 1.4 million ounces. We've done a lot of drilling since then, and we'll have an updated resource, and this uh, deposit will push towards 2 million ounces. And uh, it's a very unique uh, deposit for this area of Nevada, and it represents what could be a very large exploration potential throughout the district for more of these sediment-hosted uh, deposits. Uh, we're, uh, uh, there's a large land position here uh, that incorporates both Corvus land and Coor land, and that looks uh, like uh, that'll be a great exploration area, and we're working with Core right now on trying to unlock that geologically and make more discoveries in the belt on uh, both of our properties, actually. Uh, this is the land package here. Uh, the, you can see Corvus in the, in the light blue is our North Bullfrog package. Uh, that includes the North Bullfrog project. Uh, current in-pit resource up there is about 2 million ounces in, in uh, uh, three uh, pits up in that area. And then our mother load, which is to the south there, uh, and uh, that's part of a big east-west belt of mineralization. And that uh, uh, deposit is uh, uh, right now uh, probably going to be close to 2 million ounces. We're going to do a quick little flight down here. Uh, first of all, we'll be looking at the old historic bullfrog pit mined by Barrett Gold, about 3 million ounces out of that. Uh, coming down here to Coors new property, they bought Northern Empire and picked this property up. They're doing a lot of exploration in this area. Corvus's new mother load discovery here. Uh, very interesting project, big deposit, lots of potential at depth and a long strike on this one. And then as we uh, look up uh, to the north, so we're looking south here, uh, we now see Anglo Gold's new discovery. We don't know much about this. They haven't announced any data on it, uh, but it sounds very exciting, and uh, they're quite uh, thrilled with this, I think. Uh, and uh, that's called silicon. So uh, it's uh, 
pretty easy math, I think, when you look at uh, uh, Anglo's position in Corvus and, uh, and the adjoining properties they have there. Our PEA, which came out in late 2018 and will be updated by summer of this year, uh, had a very compelling uh, financial uh, performance out of it. Uh, we modeled everything at a base case 1250 gold, produced about uh, nearly 600 million in after tax, 5% discount NPV. Uh, capital on this project was about 425 million. Uh, so what we've done is come in and looked at what we could do here on a lower capital get going quicker uh, that would be within the, the bandwidth of a junior company like us. And so we'll have an early stage project at North Bullfrog that uh, looks like it'll uh, have about a million ounces of in-pit resource in it, producing about 750,000 ounces, roughly 150,000 ounces uh, a year uh, with capital less than $100 million. So this is definitely something that's going to be within the bandwidth of Corvus Gold, I think. Uh, this is the flow sheet for our phase, what we call phase one North Bullfrog. And then Motherload has got a large sulfide deposit. We recover the gold. In the PEA, we looked at uh, standard pressure ox, flotation concentrate and pressure ox. Uh, new bioox data looks quite good. And that bioox data is, uh, is now uh, uh, putting together a project that looks far superior and can drop the capital costs $75 million. So it's an important improvement that's going to be incorporated in the new economic study. So Motherload is really exciting and represents a new style of mineralization in the Walker Lane, and there could be a lot more exploration potential for this. Uh, this this uh, project right here, along with some exploration we're doing to the west uh, that incorporates both uh, Corvus and Coor Land, is uh, really turning out to be quite exciting for us, and I think you'll see a lot of great drill hole news come out of this over the next six months as we continue to expand this project. Uh, our new zone that we hit just recently in some uh, last couple news releases is what we call the CIZ zone, the Central Intrusive Zone, and uh, this is a new oxide zone of pretty good grade mineralization that sits underneath the main ore body uh, of Motherlode. And this is getting a lot more uh, exploration work done on it, as well as drilling down into what we believe is an intrusive uh, plug or porphyry system down below that uh, we see on geophysics. Uh, so this is uh, uh, some of the new targets we have, the northern extension of the deposit, as well as uh, what we uh, uh, are looking at at the CIZ zone where the star is and then the deep core zone. So uh, we'll, we'll have a lot of new data coming out so keep your eye on Corvus Gold. Uh, this is the geophysical target we're drilling into. It's down about five, six hundred meters deep. So it's deep and it'll have to be pretty good grade for us to be able to mine it. But uh, we'll, uh, we'll see what comes out of the core drilling. Uh, some of our deeper holes have been quite good grade, uh, above five grams a ton, which would uh, be something that would work here. Uh, so really, Corvus has uh, got a proven management group. We're in a great location in Nye County in Nevada, just north of Vegas. Uh, we have an exceptional project with an ability to get up and going within the context of a Corvus Gold build and uh, great share structure, big institutional shareholding in, uh, in Corvus Gold, a strategic shareholder in Anglo Gold with nearly 20% of the company, and uh, lots of activity in this district now. We not only have Anglo Gold, we have Coor Mining's doing a lot of work out there, and Ken Ross is working there as well. So this is a very active part of Nevada, and it should be some interesting uh, uh, results going forward throughout the district. Corvus right now is, uh, is uh, valued at uh, uh, about uh, 0.35 NAV, so there's a lot of room here for Corvus to continue to add value. Uh, and at uh, 1250, uh, uh, and we, if we look at more reasonable uh, values, we're at about 0.25. So, so that looks really encouraging for us, and we're going to have a lot much better financial study when we get it out this summer.